Morning everyone, my name's Erin, I'm from Inside Out Ostomy. Um, today we're going to be trying the Harmony Duo range by Salts. Um, it's been such a huge hype around the, the Be Confidence by Salts. Unfortunately, they're not available in Australia at this moment, so I thought I'd try the Aloe Vera product, the Be Harmony one, and we'd give that a go. The first thing I always do is get some paper towel, just because it's a protector, stick it underneath my bag and then stick it folded over in my pants so that it's not going to, uh, I guess, make an extra mess. I always change in the morning. I have a nappy bin down here that I'm just opening. I always change in the morning for the reason that output is least active, I guess, in the morning. Sorry, I use my hands a lot. Okay, I'm just going to take off my other bag that I've been using. I generally alternate between the Coloplast Mio and the um, Holostar Sera Plus range. That was a barrier remover, um, adhesive, sorry, adhesive remover spray. This one's a Brava one. But the reason I use that is because I don't like pulling the bag off my skin because it actually rips my skin off. Then I'll use the bag that I've got just to wipe off most of the excess stuff. There's two things you can use. You can use a wipe um, to get the excess stuff off. You can wet a paper towel, which is generally what I do. Um, and the other option is that if you've still got lots of adhesive, there's actually some little uh, portable wipes, some little square ones that you just pull out and you can use as well. But given there's not much excess, I'm going to just use a paper towel with some water because it's the most mildest on my skin and my skin gets very sensitive. So I'm interested to see how the aloe vera one actually works with it. Okay. Get rid of all of that. This is Squish, by the way. It's my stroma. He's sticking out here at the moment because I have a convex base on all the time. He's pretty flat otherwise. Okay, the first thing I noticed about this base plate is it's huge. Um, besides it's huge, it has these really cool little slits that actually are better to go around your belly button and things. And the other thing to make note of is that it actually has a, um, I don't know if you can see that, but like a little lip here that you can pin your base plate onto. I always use two pieces. That's just me. There's one or two pieces. But... It causes a little bit of confusion for me because I actually need to hook that onto there to click it on. And the other thing is I don't like my bag straight on because it always stabs me in the leg. So I need to find a way that I can stick the base plate on that that's going to have this part out for me. So I'm probably going to end up sticking the base plate like that. Yep, fits relatively well. I always use a seal. I'm in love with the Sarah Adapt seals. Purely just because they tend to not hurt my skin. My skin tends to work quite well with them. I always warm up my hands first, purely so that they stick better. Oh, sometimes you peel it off a little bit. doesn't always work. A bit of paper towel. Just going to wipe off any moisture that my stoma squish has created. Let's get that on my finger. Now you can do this two ways. People stick it onto the actual bag. I stick it around my stroma because I feel like it fits better. I think I'm just trying to get your fingers back off without it coming off of your skin. So that's on there now. Now I'm going to double check where this is, this little lip thing. So this is my first time ever doing it, so we're learning together. I'm going to put that to the side over here. Get this to fit around my stroma properly. I don't know that I've stuck that properly. I think I've stuck it too high and not low enough, but we will figure that out. So let's stick this on. Use your body heat fingers, your body heat to get the base plate to stick on. I'm a stickler for using a different product to actually hold around the centre. So I actually hold in the centre, give it a little bit of a twist just to make sure it seals around the actual stone where it holds the seal on, holds the base plate to the seal all the way for whatever you're used to calling it. Give that a little bit of a twist. So you can see it's actually stuck it in there a little bit better. This is the seal that's poking up here, which will protect my skin for the bit that the base plate isn't. Um, and the reason that is I actually got a 25 centimeter cut base plate. My stone is 22 to 25, it's a bit of an oblong one, but I got so sick of cutting base plates that I got a little bit lazy and now use seals instead. 
Okay, so now I'll stick that over that bottom bit because it's got that little guide there. And then stick it on. Not a huge sticker either. I actually quite prefer the click bases just because then I know that I have stuck it on. I've clicked it. It's my responsibility. And I think that is, well, it looks like it's attached. Looks like it's sealed. Don't forget to close the bag up because, you know, that's one of those key things that we forget. Oh, and it's got a little foldy thing there. Oh, the material's a bit odd too. And just in case you forgot, you need a wafer and a base plate. Okay, that is us today. Um, I will take it off in a couple of days and we'll see how my skin is going then. Have a wonderful weekend.